Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about how to create this laptop stand in SOLIDWORKS sheet metal module. See this is the component I am going to create. So let's start now. So here I have taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file. So I am going to create a base flange. So select the right right plane, select sketch and draw a line. One horizontal and one inclination. So make horizontal as a construction. This is 30. So this is 254. Go to sheet material module, select the base flange. And here select the mid plane length as 280 so when we see in right plane it is at inclination so when we see in front plane say it is little bit tilted see here so now I am going to create these side flanges go to sheet metal select the edge flange select this edge drag it downward and this so these two are similar flanges now we have to edit one of the flange so select this sketch go to edit keep it in right plane for understanding so it is an inclination so we have to remove this vertical and the horizontal constraints so move a little bit uh, down and make it 120 and select this line and this line make it perpendicular and this line and other line and make it parallel this value is 1 inch so so 1 So me approximately it is 25 so 25.4 so you can keep 25 and say ok so this is defined now so we have to create the other side so go to edit sketch of the other flange and delete the outer lines so we have to keep this line as it is you should not delete it now go to convert entities select this line this line and this line so it has been created now 
now I am going to create the side cutout so I am going to select the right plane go to sketch keep it in wireframe select the offset entity reverse direction and make it 20 similarly we have to select the other sides so select these two at a time so it is not uh, selecting select this reverse direction reverse direction now trim these sketches now add fillet to this sketch so fillet is uh, 10 mm select all the three corners and say ok so we can select the extruded cut and make it through all both sides and say ok here now this cutout has been created now now I am going to make this vent feature go to sketch select this top face so before that to make it uh, at the center draw a center line there are four sketches so this is 60 outer one is 230 So one thirty so draw a line, make a circular pattern. So clear the point and select that the center. So make it six. Now come out of the sketch. Go to sheet metal module. Select the vent feature. Select the outer line. You can see. As soon as we select this line, it removes the material. Now we have to add radius and we have to select the ribs. So these are the three ribs. So we we'll, we are going to add this radius after completing the ribs so select this so we can make 10 mm
next is sparse so we can have 10 mm and finally fill the boundary now we have to add fillets to this ribs and sparse so select 5 mm see here fillet has been added say ok see here this is for ventilation at the bottom of the laptop now I am going to add fillets at this sharp corners See, we have to add one flange at this portion at this edge to support the laptop. So, I am going to roll back so I can create here. So, this is exactly at the 90 degrees to the this base flange. So, I am going to edit this sketch. we have to drag little bit inside this is uh, 300 30 so we have to make it symmetric so select this line select the midpoint select so like this midpoint and this origin and make it vertical so it is constrained now see here now we have to add we have to add chamfers so go to break corners select the chamfer option so chamfer is around uh, 20 mm so okay. see here see here either you can give relief or you can do one thing instead of uh, bend inside material inside you can select the bend outside so it connects exactly at this end, corner see here so we don't have to give additional cutout so it's in isometric let's check the flat pattern select this face and keep it normal see here this is the flat pattern so 
so this is how we create these kind of components thanks for watching